Who? Hello, folks. Time for another video. And yes, a shave. Ooh, hurt my hand there, too. How you all doing? All right, so I've been seeing a lot of Triple X, which is my favorite Aqua de Parma scent. Been uh, on Shave of the Days and variants of the Aqua de Parma. So, of course, today I grabbed my favorite version of the Aqua de Parma scent, which is good old Biancenza from Sterling. My favorite. I have many versions of this scent, but my favorite version of the scent is good old Piancenza from Sterling. Yeah, I just like it because it's amped up. It's great quality, of course, on the Sterling base, you know, the soap base. And the scent, of course, is the older style Aqua de Parma uh, Colonia, which I have the newer version of it, and it's very weak, but not Piancenza. Ba-boom! So if you like uh, Razor Rock Triple X or uh, any other variation of the Aqua de Parma de Colonia out there, if you want that ramped up in scent and performance, Go with the old Biancenza. Alrighty, so gonna kind of keep it basic today. I got like, you know, trying to stay on my shave. I got, I don't know, three days, two days. I forget how many days, but I wanna, don't want it to go for like more than five because of those ingrown hairs. So I'm gonna be using the Mercure, the Mercure 38C, which people always ask me what the difference between this and the 34 is. The only difference between this and the 34 is this nice longer barber pole handle. The head is exactly the same, meaning that the blade gap is the same as the 34. I just like the longer handle. The handle on the 34 is a little stubby for me. So for my big paws, I like this razor awesome deal. And blade in there, I figured out, you know what? Let's go to Nastra. Not an SP, but the Superior Stainless. Nobody really uses these. I love these blades. All righty. So going with the Craving Shaving Brush today. Nice. Ooh, there's a go. Hair over there. Go with the Craving Shaving from Charles Air out in Utah. And there is a Fanchurian Knot in there from when it was called That Darn Rob. Now it's called Chisel and Hound, but there's a That Darn Rob Fanchurian Knot in there. My buddy Josh sent me this entire setup. So thank you, Josh. Uh, it's so good. I love this scent. This is like my favorite cologne style scent. Because I'm not a big cologne guy as far as scents are concerned. But I do love that one. Whoops. Almost dropped the new sink towel into the fully filled Sea Monster Sigmund. The old Sigmund. The sea monster sink. Okay, so let's get a cruising. Air conditioning is running nonstop. Having a massive heat wave the next couple days. But you know what you're gonna do, but shave on. I was just perusing through a couple of the Facebook groups and somebody put up a post of uh, wet shaving YouTubers. They didn't mention them in name at all, but they were like, they don't understand why some guys make videos and only shave like their cheeks or just like two inches of their face and they have videos. Well, whatever they like. <laughs> I happen to shave my whole face because I don't like facial hair. And eventually, when the 15 hairs do fall out on the head, I'll probably be going to shave that too. But then again, if they fall out on their own, who knows? Look at that awesome lather from Sterling. I mean, how can you go wrong for $13 and some change? Plus the Piancenza is my favorite scent. I know my buddy Jeremy Tyler out there in the shave world doesn't like the name because he's in the medical field. 
So it reminds me of something else. So sorry, Jeremy. I know you don't like the name, but this scent and this soap is my favorite. So look at that. I got lather right up the old nose. All right, McCure 38C with an Astra Superior Stainless. Yeah, I fell out of love with the Astra SPs when they changed to doing the laser etching on the label. For some reason, they are not smooth for me. And plus, I don't know if I actually got real Astra blades. According to many out there, they are. They just changed the printing on the blade from the black ink to laser etching on one side only. But I bought a bunch of those blades and they just don't do me justice. So I'm searching around the Astra line and I found these and I gave these a try a while back and I really like these. Very sharp, very smooth. Kind of reminds me of the way that the older SP shaved. Now mind you, that is my own opinion. I know hundreds of people out there that love the SPs. I just do not like the new ones. If you have the ones with the black ink, they're the ones I like. Anyway, it's a nice shave. Very quiet around here right now. My son is engaged in some kind of basketball activity outside. And my granddaughter, I think she went to the mall, but can't confirm. And my wife pretty much is taking a nap because she's been outside all day today. Playing in her good old garden. That is awesome. Great residual slickness, of course, on Sterling. And I don't know why I do that occasionally, but I have plenty of lather, so... Put on the lather, Glenn. Mm. Love that Piancenza. Mm. Love it, love it, love it. I was actually going to pick out Triple X because I do have Triple X and a few variants. I have it in the gold and the regular triple X and different versions. But I said, let me go for my favorite, which is Sterling Pincenza. Mm. I love this. Love the scent. It's a shame that they changed the formula or the scent profile on the actual Aqua de Parma because I really, really enjoy the way that this scent is. It has that very nice Italian citrus scent. Matter of fact, if you have fine Italian citrus, it is pretty much the same scent. Very close to it. Every company that does an homage or a homage to Aqua de Parma, Colonia, will have a little change in variation here and there, but that's what my nose picks up. I 
and I have that weird New Jersey nose. The good old Garden State. All right. I'm gonna tell you right now that this is probably gonna be nice. Nice and BBS. Yeah, I'm feeling it already. I'm also feeling this wet counter of mine. Wow, I just got that all up in there. <laughs> Let's just manually towel off the ears since my hands are nice and slick. Alrighty. Wow. My face feels great. I just got a little itty bit. I got that stupid ingrown hair scenario, but I'll eventually go away. Just take care of my jawline real quick with a pass. Then I'll empty the old sea monster because It is looking nice and fuzzy. Oh yeah. That is good. I think the birds are up in my gutter. <laughs> I hear a little bit of Funky noise is coming on out there. Alrighty. Let's empty good old Sigmund the Sea Monster sink. And let's wipe down this counter a little bit because I am a slob when it comes to shaving, of course. Alrighty. Let's do a little sink rinse and cold water rinse for the face. Hopefully, I'll get it as cold as I can. Kind of starts off cold, but then it gets kind of room temperature. -y. And like I said, Sterling has really good residuals, so sometimes you just gotta rinse that off now a lot of guys pause their videos when they're doing that kind of stuff but i just let it go unless there's a major screw up like somebody comes in screaming through the door or i fall into the bathtub or something <laughs> i leave it all in i know it eats up a little bit of time and i used to do my lathering on camera but then my videos are like 20 to 30 minutes long and some people are actually not complain, but say, hey, you know, we get your lathering, but we got to see the shave because I get into all the hard areas. No facial hair here. So there's no goatees. There's no beard. They get in the way. I shave it all off. Shave it all. So you get to see when I screw up. And also those tricky spots like the chin under the nose. That was the Lancaster towel, by the way. Sorry, I didn't mention that. And of course, my counter still is wet, but that's okay. All right. Well, I felt great because I get to use my favorite Sterling scent, which was Piencenza. The good old Piencenza. Gotta love it. And I used the Macure 38C with that nice barber pole handle. And there was an Astra superior stainless in there there you go some people ask me hey show me the blade in the razor so there you go there's proof what was in the razor all righty put this up on my rack till i clean it a little later and that was the craving shaving brush today craving shaving 
in Charles out in Utah. And that was with the good old Timeless Ball. I mean, look at that. That is great. Great stuff. All right. So let's finish this off with something awesome, which is the matching splash from Sterling. The Pianchenza. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, that is. You know what I'm going to say. That is freaking awesome. Mm. And it's a scent that my wife never complains about. Huh? Here comes on the central air. Because it is roasting in here today. Alrighty, so if you enjoyed today's Pianchenza shave from Sterling, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. And please subscribe. We're going up and going down, going up and going down. As soon as we hit that magic number, we'll have a giveaway, of course. And stay safe out there. And until next shave. Glenn signing off. Mm -hmm.